I will try to be a little bit as fast as possible in order for us to go at lunch. I, I don't know when. When is it? Yeah, and in in that Spanish time, ten o'clock. No. The the question is when. When? Yeah, in order for me to to spread my talk and yeah, you do you know? At seven o'clock. Ooh, so I need to be as fast as possible. So, <laughs> so uh, hello everybody, and uh, and uh, my name is Patrick Ross. Uh, I'm the head of the e-learning uh, unit at the University of Geneva, and today I will I will try to uh, show you or report you the way we try to op optimize uh, the the performance of Camilo. So my talk will be in two. Parts. The first part, I will show you why we did that, the main reason, and, the, and in the second uh, uh, phase, I will, talk, I will talk about how. Uh, and uh, I will give you, I will try to give you at the end some tips about uh, where, uh, how we get there and uh, how you can improve quite significantly your, uh, your uh, Camilo uh, instance. Okay, uh, I have three colleagues. Three colleagues collaborate with me. That's uh, the students. That's the students who made uh, with us the his, uh, master thesis on this problematic, and uh, my two other colleagues, two two developer in uh, in my group. So uh, I will start by give you some uh, uh, some context about uh, our university. Uh, this university, it's. Okay, for a European university side, it's quite, it's not big that much, but in, in Switzerland, uh, where uh, I come from, it's the second university. So it has uh, s more than uh, 17,000 students for more than 2,200 uh, uh, teachers. Then they are spread in eight different faculties. Uh, now, for the e-learning tools that are available at our university, uh, as you can see, we have several tools uh, which spread uh, since 10 years right now. We have, first of all, we, we developed a media server in, into which the teachers can put their uh, multimedia, such as videos or uh, of their lectures of audio files into these uh, systems. Then uh, in 2004, 2005, we started with Docaos, which was the, the, the system that we used, uh, followed one year after with Moodle. So we are using uh, basically uh, Docaos. We used Docaos now, Camilo and Moodle. And, uh, and after that, we tried to add some new, uh, new elements, such as uh, hot potatoes, uh, compilatio, for the plagia and, and all those stuffs, and uh, more and more. And in 2011, we started with another uh, key tool, which is the, the, our e-portfolio, uh, which is uh, Mara. I don't know if uh, somebody knows a little bit. But that, that's more uh, uh, a tool for students than for teachers. But that's a really strong tool for the students to store their uh, production and also make some reflection into it. So that's, that's something really good for the learning, for the students' learning. Then we, st we, we started also with uh, all, all the mobile learning stuff, with the Votomatic, which is a, you know, a, a mobile survey tool where the teachers can ask their students to, to uh, answer to several questions in order to to be uh, the students to be a little bit more active uh, during their lectures, and uh, I didn't put the 2013, but in 2013 we just move on uh, Tokyo's to Camilo, 19x, uh, 196 to be precise. So uh, in addition to all uh, all those tools, we give also we have also a website into which we give all the information uh, to our teachers. And also we have a blog in which we, we are trying to uh, give some advice to the teacher, didactic advice, as well as how to use Camilo and some other tools in, in for, into a didactic way. Huh? 
we create we have also workshops maybe such as you uh, uh, for the teachers to uh, introduce them how to use the systems and how to use that in a didactical way uh, then we give advice in terms of copyright and uh, pedagogical advice and finally we organize events uh, such as uh, bar camp webinars workshops we even uh, organize the uh, 2008 Dekeos Users Day. Um, yeah, maybe maybe in, in three or four years we will organize. In, uh, within the same the, the next ten years, maybe we will organize also the Camilo Day. We hope, uh, but uh, I, I cannot ask right now my uh, to my uh, to my university for that. But okay, so let's move on uh, the Dekeo side, which is the parallel to what we move on. It's, uh, it was so actually the chaos was used were used uh, until now by over uh, 18,000 people which were uh, mostly students uh, for the most with uh, 16,000 uh, students so 16,000 students are really active to the systems huh? uh, we well, I will show you the, the, the result but we have normally uh, since the beginning of the semester we have uh, like 15,000 uh, active students, 15,000 visits per day. It means that, uh, we, and we, we find out that since September we have uh, roughly 15,000 active students and uh, 1,500, more than 1,500 1, active teachers. So it means that that's quite a lot. Eh? This on uh, 2,068 courses. It means that we had to, when we make, made the migration, it was uh, trying to migrate uh, more than 2,000 uh, courses, which, which was quite tricky, but, but we, we, we made it. So, welcome the problem. Oh, just show you something which is for, for the people who are interested in didactic, quite interesting, because some universities are, are making such a statistic about the way the, stu the, the teacher are using their uh, learning management system in order to know where are we in terms of didactics of e-learning. Because uh, Camilo, it's, a, it's a, a tool for the teachers in order to be as didactic as possible. But uh, as the results show you, you see that's all the active courses over here. And that's mainly the, 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 the two main uh, uh, tools that are really used, it's uh, the WYSIWYG, which is uh, the, the text editor, and also the, the, the tool documents. And then you have some, new, some tools in which the, 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 the teachers are trying to, to add some adding values such as links, course descriptions, announcements, and so forth. But uh, as uh, some e-learning specialists could say, you have three types of interaction between students and teachers. Uh, you can have either the, the interaction, teacher to students interaction, where the teacher giving all the information to the students without no feedback at all. You have the, the, the interaction students to teachers, when the students have to produce something and give it back to the, to the teacher. And then you have the students to students interactions, which is more collaborative and which it's normally what the e-learning specialist wants a little bit. But as you can see over there, most of the, the, the tools that are used right now are mo most for uh, students, uh, teacher to students interaction. Uh, and then you have some other uh, students uh, for like, such as assignments, where you have, uh, where, when you have this, students give back their production to the teachers. So assignments will be more uh, uh, students to teacher interaction. And finally, you have the forum or uh, the test, the groups, which are more students to students interaction. So you can see that we, have, we are still right now massively, uh, mostly uh, to a teacher to students interaction. But we try to change that. It will take time, but we are really positive about that, maybe before my rent. Um, so 
Now let's go to the main problems. To the main problems, uh, we find out that every year we have, uh, as, as I said before, that we have roughly 16,000 people who are visiting our site every day. It means that in one year, it's approximately two million visits per year. Okay, okay, that's that's good, but. If we go much in detail, we can see that those visits, which are uh, uh, over 115,000 per month, you know, they are spread in a year. And you have the, the, the peak of those visits are in the beginning and also at the end of each semester. So you have, you, you have a, a peak, then it, go, it goes down, then you have the, the Easter semester, the peak, it goes down, and the exam, and so forth. So it's not spread widely spread like that, but you have some peaks. Then let's go much more in detail uh, by trying to see in October from last year where it was used. It, uh, it's the same thing. That's a month, the month of October 2012. And as you can see, it always go up. And he, go in, and he goes down. Huh? That's Monday. That's Sunday. Uh, uh, no, Saturday. Saturday, because at, at, on Sunday, the, 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 the students and teachers prepare themselves. So that you have Monday, Saturday, then Sunday, Monday. And every Monday, as you can see, there is a peak. And after that, it goes down. OK? So we have the year, the months, the weeks, and then let's go to see that's, that's a week. So that's as, uh, every week or at the beginning of the semester, the same. A peak, it goes down the Saturday, and, and therefore it goes up again and, and so forth. So as far as I, uh, when we are making first tips, when you want to make some uh, changes in your instance, normally I can tell you an advice is, to do that on Saturday morning, morning, because the Saturday morning it's pretty flat. It, it's pretty, pretty down, huh? and I'm sure because I, I don't know. One of our hypotheses is maybe on Friday there is more, much more, amusement or something like that, which where the students can, uh, yeah. So that may be one reason, but we don't know. And let's go right now on a daily use. So I, that's the Monday, that's the Monday, to, uh, Monday 1st, October 2012, which is the same. We tried also with the, the, the first Monday in October to 2013. It was almost the same. So as you can see, the way the people are interacting with our system is not the same uh, every day. You have, you know, they are coming and at 10 o'clock you have one peak. Okay, from 10 to 11, then it goes down, people go to lunch, that's, that's in Switzerland eh, actually. Yeah. So at 12 o'clock people are dining and then 2 o'clock he comes, he comes back, they comes back, they are interacting with the systems and it goes down. But as you can see there is peaks, there is no a, a, a lot of activity every day, all, the, all day long and everything. There is some peaks, but that's th those peaks who are the problem. That's those peaks, because, because until now, last year, the people who were using the chaos had to wait up to two minutes in order to have a response, to have a web page. Huh? Normally, they could use quite easily, but at this time of, of, of the day, the chaos was really slow. And what was really slow at the end, the answer was that frustration. Frustration by the user. They, they, they were coming crazy. They, 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 they used to say, why I, can, can I go every day, all day long to, to Google or to other systems and not having any problems, but when I'm using uh, the, the, the chaos, I, I'm stuck with the, with the system. And at the end of the year, when we make, because every two years we are making some survey in order to know what are the feelings of, of the students and the teacher about the systems? One of the 
uh, recurrent uh, 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 bad feedback was that sometimes the queues was too slow. So that was really a problem, really an issue. Huh? And therefore, we had to find out a solution to optimize uh, the performance of Camilo. Okay? Because we would, we would then, therefore, we would say to the people, look at, we change the systems, and by changing the systems, the performance are quite better. You don't, you don't have problems anymore, and so forth. So that was one of the reasons why we started the, this uh, study about uh, optimizing um, uh, Camilo. The, therefore, to implement this uh, solution or to, 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 find, to try to find out this solution, we use uh, uh, a technique, a method which is based on PCDA. That's, that's something, you know, in which when you want to develop a new uh, features, and you want to keep having the best uh, solution as possible, then you're trying to do this iteration like that, trying to use every component, trying to iterate, and you have a better result. We adapt the PCDA for our use, where uh, for the plan, for the P, it's planning. The, the, for us, that was the goal to reach. Then for do, uh, we said, uh, how do we will do that? That's by Set, setting up our uh, simulation, a simulation environment. Then you have to check. How do we will check uh, if the solution were, were, were good or not? That's by measuring, measuring the, the, the result of, uh, of the performance in order to know if the system is good or not. And finally, act. It's if the, 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 measure, uh, the measure gives you some bad feedbacks about uh, the performance, then you have to find out the right optimization, going always uh, trying to optimize always the systems until finding the best, the best one. So let's start, to, to, uh, let's start with the plan. The plan is the goal to reach. The goal to reach was obtain the best performance. But what is a performance? I don't know if for, for, for us until uh, until a few months ago, the performance was mostly performance of the system. So what did I do? I took in the dictionary, the British dictionary, I took the definition of, optimi uh, of performance. And I saw that you have process, logistics, machine, and everything that are, are, are to do with, uh, with, uh, with uh, systems, with computer systems. But at the same time, the problems were, were that at the beginning, what was, what was the, the ground of, of this study? That was the users, the users who had problems with the system. So we wouldn't take the performance, the goal to reach the performance terms uh, like this, but instead we, we use the psychology in it. So the psychology of web performance, that's how do people find a system as performant and a web, a web uh, server as performant when they are using it. So there is, according to this website, website optimization, they said how web page response times affect the psychology of the behavior. Okay? It means that when you are waiting for, the, for a web page to be displayed, normally you have your psychology, or you, which are in this thing, huh? when you are frustrated, when you are mad, and, and all those things. That's psychology, that's not technology, purely. Huh? So, so we find out, by going a little bit in, this, in, in, in the research side, huh? that there is some magic number. How, how long are people are, uh, are, uh, are willing to, to stay and to wait until a page comes? OK? Then, we find out that there is this limit between 8 and 10 seconds, which was a research in 2000. But, and after that, you have the feelings. After those 8 to 10 seconds, what's going on to the psychology of the people? Uh, then you see uh, the credibility of the website is lowered. OK. Uh, after that, the quality of the website or the quality of the systems is also lowered. The people don't trust the systems anymore. 
they, they, they are stuck with the, the system. And it increased the frustration. Uh, more they have, to, they, 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 they have to wait, more they are frustrated. So that's when, when they have to wait more than 8 to 10 seconds. But right now, if they, were, if they have to wait less than 10 seconds, then the system looks a little bit more interesting for them. Or the, they, 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 they feel that the system is more attractive. Even we don't want Camilo to be as attractive. Yeah, we want to be. Uh, at the same time, what the people did, what the developer did for Camilo and for, uh, and for the chaos, which was also the key thing, it was in order to be as easy as possible, but also as attractive as possible. So if you can uh, mix that with the performance of the systems, you win, you win quite a lot. So that's, that's, that's the way we're trying to reach the goal. So the goal to reach for us was to obtain, for any case, a web page response times uh, less than 10 seconds. That was the goal to reach. Then let's go with the, with the, with the second, with the do things, which is the setup of our simulation environment. For that, we used uh, uh, a tool which is quite well all, often used by the people, the, 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 the people who are setting up some uh, big systems. We are using uh, Apache Gmeter, uh, which is a system which allows you to uh, uh, create a scenario. Then this scenario, you can create what we call a thread group, and then you can measure the, you can measure the data, uh, the response of your system. So I will go a little bit, I will go a little bit with each of those uh, things. First, the scenario. The scenario that we choose, which is over here, it's based on the statistic that I showed you before, the way we are using, the, 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 the teacher and the students are using the chaos now Camilo. Huh? So, at the beginning, so for one user, one user will go through these things. Uh, for, so for the simulation, it will be like that. It will log on, first of all, with, uh, with Shibboleth for us. Uh, then it will do the following, the, 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 the following task. It will go to the, the main courses, the, to the my courses. It will go to a course. It will download one document, two documents, three documents and always go back to the documents uh, tool. Then it will go to the course description, and then it will read three announces and then log out. Log out. Huh? That's, that's the scenario of one user. Now for the, 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 the thread group that we, we said, in order to, to, to simulate a massive use of this, of this uh, tool, then we have to do that with more than one users. Then we use that for 500 users. It means that the, the scenario that I just show you will be done by 500 users in parallel. They will start every two seconds. So the first, the first users will do this interaction uh, this scenario, and two seconds later, another one will do that. But the first one will keep doing it because we loop, we loop the, 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 the scenario. It means that uh, by the end of the 500 users, all the 500 users will do the same thing all together, which is, as we, we find out, more massive than n a normal use because normally a user is doing that once, twice maximum, and after that it will go out. Here, you have 500 users who are keep clicking, uh, not stopping, keep clicking. So that's, that's extreme, as we can say. Then you measure the thing. And, and to measure the thing, uh, we measure something that is pretty important for us, but that's, that's what we want to measure is the average web page response uh, times. This in milliseconds, okay? So <coughs> it means that for every single, 
pages that the, the, the students, the, the users will go, it we will have the average uh, response time of the system. Then what we want to measure in addition to the, response, to the page response time? We want to measure some other more uh, hardware, uh, more uh, hardware uh, data, which is the load average, which is the numbers of process which are waiting, uh, which are waiting to be processed. Also, the memory used, uh, how much memory which is used by all those people in order to know if there is uh, no more, no more uh, memory, then that will be problematic and so forth. Uh, also, the last thing it's we want to be and we want to know uh, also about the process, uh, the percentage of the process that are used by every uh, every daemon, uh, from MySQL, from uh, from uh, HTTP and so forth. This will be will give you some will give us some information about uh, the deadlock where it could be. It could be either in the Apache server or the, the problem can come from uh, MySQL uh, server. So that's for the, the measurement that uh, we done. And finally, uh, the last thing we're trying to measure, that's in order to, 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 to improve uh, quite efficiently the systems, you have to know also uh, so the uh, average uh, web response time, as I said before, but also the logs the logs of your systems, uh, the log of Apache, or the logs of uh, MySQL, this in order to know if there is some uh, re really costly, uh, costly uh, queries that are in uh, MySQL. And, and I will show you a little bit later that there is some, and you can do something about it. So log, logs is also pretty important to measure. Huh? Then you have to find the, you have to optimize. When you find out that your your systems, uh, according to one iteration, is slow, then you have to find out how could I improve it. Uh, and you have different way to improve it. Uh, it can be on the hardware configuration where you change the CPU, uh, the size of the CPU or the RAM and so forth, the network and so forth, or you can go for the operating systems. Uh, where you can use Linux uh, versus Lin Unix and, and so forth. And that's also something, uh, uh, for instance, uh, an information, normally they said that uh, for some instance of, uh, I heard from Moodle, but I think that Camilo, it could be also the same, but uh, Linux is quite more uh, fitted for uh, those kind of, of, uh, of systems uh, better than, uh, than Unix, but yeah, but if you don't have a good hardware configuration, then everything goes down. So that's also something that's uh, pretty important. And after that, that's all the, for your web server performance. Your web server performance, it's uh, for the PHP performance, first of all. Uh, do you want to, to, to add a PHP accelerator, uh, which is something pretty important? I will, I will tell you a little bit about that a little bit later. Then about the settings of uh, PHP, uh, what type of setting I can, I can use in order to increase a little bit uh, the performance of my system, or also the Apache, the, all the Apache uh, performance, where the settings is also something pretty important, and also the module. I uh, don't add too much module, uh, otherwise the systems will go, will be a little bit, um, less faster than, uh, than uh, usually. Then you have the database performance, which is in, uh, by, uh, in ex by experience with Camilo and with the chaos, with those LMS systems, which are the key elements. Huh? So the database performance by the settings, the engine, what type of engine I have to use for each, which table and, and so forth, that's something pretty important. And finally, the queries. Uh, because sometimes the bottleneck comes from the queries. I will show you one or two examples just after that. Okay? So, what about the result? Okay. We can go, I can go for hours and hours by giving you 
all the results that we had. The students who are finishing his, uh, his, uh, his master can give you, he gives me pages and pages. Uh, we started a Google Doc and by the end of uh, last month we, we ended because it was too many pages of results. But if I can summarize a little bit the findings, the thing that we find out, it's those four different, four plus one, I will show you. But use, okay, something that is quite logical, but just to know, use a, a, a real server instead of a virtual machine. Choose the right uh, DB engine. Add some PHP accelerator and update your LAN components. I show you one after the other. That's the result. That's everything that was compared. So that on each iteration, we add a new element to our optimization. OK? So that's the virtual, virtual box. So, so, uh, so that's a virtual machine. That's a real server. We put out the locks and so forth. And we, we add a new component, and then we measure and we're trying to know that by number of queries per second. Okay, so that's the result of, of the, the way the system is responding from the different, the, 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 the various solutions that we're trying to, uh, to adapt. So I don't want to show you all the solutions. I just want to show you the best solutions. What type of solutions would change everything? The first is, you, you, see, you see here, that's with VirtualBox with without uh, with a real system so don't use a virtual machine that's the first the first thing to say the second thing it's the motor the engine when you are changing uh, we are we were using for uh, camilo for most of the tests we were using myizam uh, and what we're trying to do is we change myizam by InnoDB. Uh, there is two different uh, engines, but the main difference between those two is the way they are locking and unlocking the, the table. With, uh, with, uh, with InnoDB, they are, with MyIsam, when they are writing something in the table, they are locking the whole table. With InnoDB, they're just locking a row, which makes a huge difference. For instance, when you know, when you have the student log, I don't remember the name of the table, but you know, every time a student is interacting with the system, the, the Camilo writes something on the table. If you can use InnoDB instead of MyIsam, then you can have a better response. And, and that's, that's that this thing we're trying to measure. Huh? With, uh, with, okay, although it's not huge, but, 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 Already, there is some, so, 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 some good response uh, by the systems. So when you are trying to use the new systems, trying to think about the engine you want to use. Huh? And if you are working with a table which will be massively written by, the, by Camilo, then trying to use InnoDB as possible. That that was, uh, that was the thing. Then you had about the PHP accelerator. I don't know if everybody uh, knows what is a PHP accelerator. Uh, that's, that's a system you, you put, which normally PHP, it's, uh, it's a system which is, uh, uh, ooh, I don't remember in, uh, in, 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 in English, but, uh, uh, but uh, uh, the, the, that you, you don't have an executable, you, you, you don't have a, a system which is like a C or C++, which uh, uh, directly process uh, all your code, but it, it interpret the code, okay? And what does this uh, PHP accelerator do? They are taking some codes, they are putting directly on, uh, on bytecode, we, we can say like that, and when they will go uh, another time to, to this code, they will directly, uh, they will not interpret them, but they will directly process them. And, he's, and he can go really faster, okay? Then we test three, three different, 
a PHP accelerator. The first that we test was the X cache. Okay? The second one was APC. Uh, APC, which is uh, the one which were pretty well used. We, we used to, to work with APC. Uh, and the last one is the one who are just new by, uh, new developed by Zent, which is, um, what, what's his name? Up, up, up code. Up, uh, I just, I, I will give you the, the information just after that. Uh, so as you can see, there is a huge difference between those three, uh, those three systems. Okay. Now you can, now I don't know if I convince you, but, uh, and you can say, okay, but according to your study, this uh, PHP accelerator is much faster than the, the, but the other one. But maybe I can show you something in the, another example or another scenario in which the APC will be faster than the other one. Then we're trying to find out if in, on the web there is already people who made some other uh, study on comparing uh, the different PHP accelerator. And we find out that the people from PHP directly made this study. So they, they, they already, for different types of uh, systems, uh, Drupal, uh, Tipo3, WordPress, and so forth, and they, they're trying to make the comparison uh, of the systems, okay? So that's PHP 5.5 uh, with, with nothing, APC, and Optimizer. Okay, that's the name of the, of the system, that's Zend Optimizer. Okay, that's the PHP Accelerator name, uh, okay? And they said, okay, with what is the gain with, uh, between, uh, between the optimizer and PHP, be between the optimizer and APC? And as you can see, for all the systems, and the, the, the last one is the extreme setting. It's the setting of your uh, database, PHP, uh, Apache, and, and so forth. So as you can see, the, 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 the difference it's, it's, it's also huge for all the systems. So for all the systems, different systems, we were, uh, uh, we were uh, compared. You see that optimizer is quite faster than, uh, always faster than APC. So the, if you choose the right uh, PHP accelerator, it's also something that you have to think about when you are uh, installing a new, uh, a new Camilo installation. Huh? Then, okay, I just said, okay, on the top. So in order to install the, this uh, Zend optimizer, you need to update your LAMP, your LAMP component, okay? Huh? So you need, to, you need to upgrade PHP. You need to upgrade Apache and, and so forth huh? because of the new version of the, of the optimizer. But at the same time, the students ask, stress our uh, uh, OS uh, engineer, our engineer to update, the, upgrade the systems. And it really worked because at the beginning, we wouldn't do that. We would we would uh, just stay with APC and, and the old version of, uh, of uh, PHP and uh, Apache. And he showed us by making two, by comparing the, the use of uh, the systems with APC without upgrading and uh, uh, Zend Optimizer by upgrading, this huge difference. Huh? That was this huge difference between, between those two. And we made we, so we made this, uh, this upgrade, and, and it worked also. So uh, the goal is here, as you can just see, before we used to work with Apache 2.2.22, and we upgrade on 2.4.6. And the same for uh, PHP uh, 5.3 to 5.5.3, okay? So we had to do that. Just to say to you that we are using Unix systems, so you have to compile the component every time. So it, it takes more time than with Linux when you can take the components and do everything. So, so we had to do that, but it paid off at the end. Okay? So, and 
the last thing, so I, I, I said to you, uh, 4 plus 1. The plus 1 is detect the slow queries and trying to optimize them. OK, we were, OK, I show you two queries that we had to optimize in Camilo. So according to the testing that we made, but also the use that are made uh, to Camilo, you can ask uh, on, on the, your MySQL configuration that uh, track the slow queries. OK, so that's just something that's a variable that you have to add, and it gives you the list of all the logs where the queries is slow or slow. OK, but after that, you can ask. Yeah, there is some programs which give you a summary, which summarize everything, because as a log files, it gives you a huge amount of information. But you can say, give me the top 10, give me just the top 10 uh, slow queries. Then we try that, and we find out that there is one query which were a little bit like which you used to take a lot of times, OK? So that's the queries where when you go to the documents, you click to documents, and, you know, and after that, it displays the percentage of documents you have and everything. That, 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 that's, that's an adding value of the system. The problem is that, as you can see over there, uh, those results are like that, if you want to, uh, if I can explain you. The count is the number of times the system had to, had to do the, these queries. Camilo did these queries. The time he spent, to, uh, the time he spent per queries, okay? So that 13 seconds were spent to, for these queries, which is a lot huh, in, uh, in MySQL. Huh? And when you say that, that's one query, and then you have another one, another one, and then you will have the answer. The page will be displayed to the user that you are already over the limit, over the 10 seconds. So 13 seconds, and that's the sum of all the seconds spent. And then you see that, which is something quite interesting, that was the lock time. Uh, the time it was spent to lock, to wait until, to, to wait until the system's uh, trying to, to, to come and so forth. Okay, so when you have such uh, type, okay, so the solution that we 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 had until now, uh, before uh, normally we we are on the way to optimize these queries in order to be uh, uh, less costly as possible. But right now we just uh, comment the queries. So it means that right now at this time the people don't have the um, the information regarding the the. The, the percentage of uh, the, the, the size of their uh, document uh, tool, uh, how many documents they, 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 they put and everything. But at the same time, the performance of the system went up. So that, 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 that's the first uh, way we, we did that. I give you a second query in which we had to also change. We change it. Uh, and uh, as, as, as I said, uh, it's on the red mine. So you can, uh, OK, this, this one was, was, was crazy, but that's uh, in the quiz. In the quiz, when uh, uh, students would like to make a quiz, normally there were a queries where when the, the, these queries were selecting something which does not exist anymore. And then it will go crazy, and, and, and then it will take a huge amount of, of memory, and, and then the systems would, would go, you know, with no more memory, would, it would go really slow, and, and, and all those stuff. So we, we find out the queries, okay? Uh, as you can see, four times people ask for the, these queries, but these queries <laughs> took 1,556 seconds which uh, it's huge, it's huge. So the sum of uh, the logs, no logs, but it took a, a lot of time. So we changed the queries. We, we find out that there were a problem with, uh, with the queries, but that was an and and or. That was so something, so, so something not, no, no, not to, so something small, but it changed everything. Because after that, we changed the query we find out that that was just a li this problem. And from, from there, from this time, we, we didn't find uh, any more a problem with, uh, with the test uh, 
the testing uh, uh, tool. So that's our five tips uh, that, as I said before, if you want to, to if I can summarize my, my talk, I can say that uh, the five tips for optimizing Camilo, but I can be more general and say, say if you have an LMS in general and you want to optimize them, him, trying to use a real server by selecting the right hardware, uh, CPU, RAM, and so forth. Choose the right DB engine per, uh, for each of the table that you have available. Uh, InnoDB of MyEzam, InnoDB more when your table is writing massively. Then update lo your LAMP components, uh, PHP, uh, even MySQL, Apache, and so forth. Add the Zen optimizer, accelerator. Uh, this, this is pretty important because we find out there is a huge gap between uh, those different systems. And finally, detect the slow queries. Uh, because, because maybe for you, the slow queries will not be the same as for us. Because your users, your teachers, your students, maybe they are not using Camilo the same, the same way we are using. So maybe uh, the slow queries are somewhere else. Okay? But if we are all doing the same thing together, then everything, the Camilo will be in general uh, more faster, the performance. So to finish my, my talk, I just uh, will give you the, the situation because the, all, all my talk until now was about the simulation. So we made something, we simulate something, and from this simulation, after that, it had to be on a, on a, on a server, on a production server with real users and so forth. So as I said to you before, uh, 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 since the starting of the year, of, of the semester, which it was uh, last month, we had uh, over between uh, 13 and 16,000 uh, uh, visits per day, which is more than uh, the year before. And uh, according to the measure, so we just made a, a quick measure this week on Monday, as I said to you, Monday, uh, that was not... Unfortunately, that was not uh, the Monday between 10 and 12, or, because it was, we wouldn't, it was maybe a little bit risky to know, uh, to know because we, we start the systems. We start uh, Gmeter with two people interacting with the systems, and we wouldn't do that uh, in, uh, you know, in between uh, 10 and, and 11 and so forth. So we went uh, to other times during the day when there were uh, four, 425 users, 500, 750, and you can see the response of the systems, which is less than one second. Uh -huh. uh, that's uh, uh, 0 0.6 uh, second and so forth. So the, the, the response of, uh, of our system is, we think quite good. So uh, according to the result from the, 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 this week, we can say that the Camilo response time is less than one second right now. So uh, we, uh, we, we, we think that's the, the study that we had to make during the summer to optimize our uh, systems really, uh, really will uh, benefit everybody. So. I think that uh, that's it. That 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 just that I would like to say to you. I will put uh, my uh, presentation on slide share in order for you to have. And I think that I will also uh, uh, create a, a document in which I will summarize everything, uh, in addition to the document that are already to the rich document that are already uh, that uh, was already written by uh, Yannick about uh, optimizing uh, Camilo. So that's it. Thank you. If you have questions. Yes.
Yeah, yeah, you really tried. We, until last year, we were using APC. Okay, the result was a mix. And uh, since this summer, the, 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 this master's students compared the, the, these systems, and we were amazed to see the difference between those different systems. Also, in the, in the updated software, Yep, yep. 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 <laughs> yep. Also, the one thing I have, well, I don't know how to say it, I don't know, you know, it's the virtual machine uh, versus uh, physical one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, you get, uh, you are not wasting electricity, of course, <laughs> because you are using another, another machine. Yep. And it, it, it goes well, not uh, uh, less than one second, but tops two seconds you get. Okay. So thank you guys. This is a very good insight. Okay. Thank you. Yes? Uh, pre fork. Uh, we we yeah we 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 did that quite a lot. I don't remember which type. I think we are using. Yeah, we are using worker. I think. Yeah, yeah. We we try worker. We are using worker. That's for a previous testing. That we we find out that worker were better than pre fork. Uh, no, no, only the, the problem is only the table uh, which are uh, writing massively. That it means that uh, you have, you know, the, all those tables who logs everything that the user is doing, that's a table who, who needs to be on InnoDB. Or they, they, there is also this with documents, uh, because the, uh, or this uh, with, um, with the property. Uh, C uh, item property, which is also massively used. So th th those three, we would like to, to put it on InnoDB. Uh, the using by the simulation, we could do that because the students didn't have the opportunity to change the, the engine. But uh, on our uh, production server, we didn't have this opportunity uh, right now to change from uh, to try to try to change. Yeah. Yeah, that was the, the, the problem. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we'll be there until Saturday uh, after this.